cancer. Please, brother, tell us your name, where you come from. And Mercy of God, church. The home of grace. Mercy of God, church. The last bus stop. My name is Ekbedi Sabasin from Obeya local government in Bringi, precisely, my community. I had a land somewhere in Yenagua called Akaba. Sometimes last month, the second week of last month, I went to clear grass. The first cut of my cutlass, something struck my right eye. It became dim, I can't see. I cleaned my eyes. I, I, I blinked, I blinked. It became open. I said, ah, what is happening? I started walking, there was no problem. I walked and finished that day. I was after my other businesses. After four days, the eye became dark. The devil is wonderful. It deceived me as if it is over. After four days, it was dark, I can't see again. I said, what is wrong with me? What is happening? Ah, I must come to daddy. I ran and came on a, what? Wednesday, counseling day. Daddy was not there. I say, Satan is a liar. I must come. Pray out your self-service on Thursday. The following day I came. I complained to Pastor Loki. He said, come on Thursday. I came. I sat at the front. I was praying. Praying, praying. Let my man of God see me. I was praying, crying, challenging. Let the man of God see me. I challenge him not for evil. But I challenge him, if you be my man of God, I believe in you. I trust in you. See my case. And my challenge touched him. He saw me say, you come out directly. I ran out. Say, in the realm of spirit, he saw me clearing grass and something struck my eye. I said, yes, sir. You saw it actually. And that was my land. That they have spoiled your land. They want to blind your eyes. I said, yes, sir. He prayed for me. He used the restoration water and uh, sprayed on my eyes. This is the restoration water. He sprayed on my eyes immediately. I said, that's him. He raised up his hands. He said, can you see my hand? I said, yes. He said, what are you saying? I said, one. What are you saying? I said, two. What are you saying? I said, three. My eyes started opening. I was seeing. I was seeing. After that day, when I went home, the following day, they struck me again back at my jaw. My jaw was swelling. A wonderful boil that I don't know. A boil that is greater than a boil. My jaw was thick, heavy. My mouth and my face was twisting. My wife said, your face is twisting. I said, yes, I don't know. This one is not ordinary boil. After four days again, that was like a point of pause. I brought it out. I opened it. The more I opened, the more the hole was getting deep, getting deep, getting deep. When I opened it, it became very open. My finger can go inside. I said, I can't bear it. I have to run to daddy again after that four days. When I came, daddy said, what is happening? I said, that is what I am seeing. I don't know what is happening. Daddy said, let me see. That was the prayer out today. I came. That is the following week. As I came, when daddy looked at it inside, he said, the hole is too deep. I said, what is happening? I said, daddy, I don't know. He said, bring the salt. The signs and wonder salt. He brought the signs and wonder salt that when he put in, this size and wonder salt into that pit or that hole. This is the salt. That when he puts in, that the wound will be healed. And that he did it. I said, Amen. He prayed for me. I left. He said, I should go and look for any health center to dress it. When I went to the health center, when they dress it, after two days, the flesh started coming out, filling. As you're seeing this jaw, it was very deep inside. But now, the whole thing has become filled and remaining the wound to dry off, everything has dried. So I come to give God the glory because our daddy is wonderful. One has never seen, a man of God has never seen my case to so say, you have a land somewhere, calling the community, telling me exactly what happened. It was wonderful to me. After that, more and more were happening again. They struck my wife. My wife couldn't bear it. My wife couldn't stand. We are running after Helter Skelter in FMC with this high cost of FMC. But at the end of the day, even my wife is healed by the power of God. So I come to testify for the goodness of God. This signs and wonders all and the restoration. All I have it. When I was praying, I was challenging, crying. Our man of God, our prophet. If you be a man of God, that was my prayer. See my case, hear my cry at midnight, not knowing that the spirit is touching, the spirit of our daddy. God is good to challenge our daddy sometimes, not for evil. But you challenge him in the spirit. He will hear you and he heard me in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Thank for healing you. me in Jesus' name. Amen. Mercy of God. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah.
Please tell us your name, where my, you come from, and your testimony. God bless you. My name is Eva Mike from Sabama local government in Sony. On the third, this is my younger brother. I, I will stay at Masomo. They call me for phone. Say, your younger brother, they sick. I said, what is happening? I mean, he talked to me on Friday. Say, come on, if you don't come, you don't go see your junior brother. I asked speedboat from Masomo. So I take speedboat to go in Sony community. I took him to Masomo. For Tantua, they said, no, if you can. So come Dr. Benemo Hospital for Yenangua. That is on Monday. From on Monday, that's so treatment. Later, Dr. Ben will say, you know, have any sickness for this boy body. Let us go to pastor's place. We walk up, go in and go. No way. Till on the Friday, one of my friends directed me to the church from Masomo. I said, come here. Then put one more uh, the map picture for the front of Ajikoro Junction. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So I call here. When I call to the church, people they do meetings, say they won't go worry. I met one guy for the front. I said, bros, my younger brother is sick. He didn't give me this uh, water. I said, only this one. He said, eh, go. That's what of the man of God. They say in the altar they do meeting. I tell my junior, this is my brother. I say, if the man of God won't enter motor, make a dive in leg. He said, no, no, do I mo. Now say I go hold in leg. <laughs> I say I go hold in leg. He said, no, hold on first. Make we enter inside. So people they hear. Later, it, the man of God talks and make everybody hold his other hand. And those people maybe they select people for inside the church. They, they do the meeting. I want one woman, the woman they drag her hand. That's the matter, I hold my hand. All of us can't pray finish. Everybody won't enter motor. Me and my brother stand for inside church. Man of God called this, this front. I lean down. My brother said, lean down. Mm. He, will, he said, what is your brother? My brother did coma. Since on Monday to Friday, with oxygen. He laughed. He called one of them, go bring another one. That one day, like red, co blue color. He colored these two with my brother and mix in tons more for inside. Go give your brother. This is your brother's sickness. On Sunday, we will come here to do testimony. So I left here. I give him as we talk for the coma because when we go there, the nurse, the warriors, I target the nurse team, they come out and point him for a mouth. As he point him later, he cough. As he cough, him, they come convert, they do like this for him, body. I call nurse, say, No, man, I don't tire for your brother. T no way. Ah, I tell my brother, this one will come, say, This thing, see, they worry. A man of God talks on Sunday. And that people they come pray for her. Before, before I go outside, come in, go outside, come in later, you wake up, say, you won't eat. Power. Before the nurse, then I see don't sit down, eat now. All the nurse, they ah, doctor, see this boy, he don't go go. I tell my brother, it's on Saturday. He don't go to the toilet. I, said, I tell the nurse, say, see, we won't come to this church on Sunday. I had a lot of pain money. Before then, bill, bring bill, 102,600. Now, so any allows to come here, do testimony. Man of God tell us on Sunday, come do the testimony. No, say, Lila, we don't pay the money. We don't come out. Now, I won't come to this church. I meet one guy for there. See the man of God from inside, sir. They're not allowed to come outside because of weekend. On Monday, we'll pay the money. This is Sunday, we'll come do the testimony for here. That's why we'll call you. This is my family. I see the boy with the in Jesus' name. Amen.
Hallelujah. Prayer may your testimony remain permanent in Jesus' name. Please, do you have anything to tell the church? Well, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Out time, I have advising everyone that let's put mind in God. Without God, we cannot survive. Thanks God to break up. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. God bless you. Where you come from and your testimony. God bless you. My name is Sherit. I come from Lobia, South Anijo. Mercy of God. The home of grace. Mercy of God. Your last bus stop. My testimony goes like this. This is my mother. Um, let me say, past two weeks, we came to this church. Somebody just directed us, so we came to this church. She, all her body was inching and crocodile all over. So we cured her for more than two years. No solution. No solution. Hospital, here and there. No way. No way. So when we came to this church on Sunday, after Sunday, we prepared to see the man of God, but we couldn't see him. And they said that we should see him on Wednesday. So on Wednesday, we came to see the man of God. When we see the man of God say, this is the condition of my mother. She can't even walk. If she just walks too much, she'll just fall, just like that. Even her eyes, she can't see. So he now called her out down and Thursday. He called her out and he now prayed for her. And he said that the, her inches will go, so I should not worry, but I will come and testify. I said, I believe. Because we went to so many churches. I said, I believe. And here will be the last bus stop. So when I came to this place, he gave us the water. We bought one, but he gave us other water. He gave us the water. He said, he gave her the water to drink. He said, don't worry. Say, your problem will be over. This issues will go. So he now gave her the water. When we went to the house, she used the water for only three good days. And her body just, before I know, you see her body, see her. The Everything itchy stuff. was just smooth, just like that. So we now went back to the doctor. So there was a day the doctor now called us that we should go and see him. So we now went to the doctor. Ah, the doctor said, because the drugs that he gave to her, he said he didn't even believe that the drugs will work for her. So when he see my mother, he shocked. He said, nobody did this God. He now give her 500 and buy her more. Say, the God that you are serving, Say God it's a God God that there is no way no man can do it, but it is God. Hallelujah. I say no problem. So now this Sunday, last Sunday when we came, we didn't reach give the testimony. So this Sunday, I now came to testify to the glory that of God has done it. Hallelujah. I'm so very much happy because God has done it in the life of my mother. Hallelujah. May your healing remain permanent. Oh, Thank Jesus. you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Mercy of God, church. Mercy of God. Mercy of God. The home of grace. Mercy of God, church. The last bus stop. I, my name is Emmanuel Eberuma from Delta State. I want to thank God for his goodness in my life and in my family. God has been so good to me and my family. Sunday, 28 September last year, 2017, uh, 2016, I mean, I find myself in this church. Nobody invites me. Nobody give me flyer. How it come? There was a day I find myself in a dream. I saw a queue. People were running around a particular place. I asked one among them, what is happening? Why are you people running? They say, still run. Because when you run, you will see what you are looking for. I say, hey. I continue running with these people. Immediately I woke up, it was a dream. I said, wow. I told my wife, I see, see something I saw. He said, ah, if it is so, we should prepare and go worry. Because I saw Papa in the dream. And I saw some men with him. They were writing name of people. I said, see what I saw. It's okay if it is so, we should prepare to go worry. I said, no. 
let us see how it will be till December. Then I will prepare. If it is something, we will go worry. We will know. Then I was passing Azikoro. I saw the big poster of Papa and uh, Apostle Palibo Betwe. I said, ah, see the person I saw in dream. If it is so, we will worship here. Again, I did not see the those poster again. As I got to this U-turn, I saw the poster here. On that 28th, I start worshiping here. On the service, pastor was continuing saying, "You will testify. You will testify. You will testify." Then I claim it. I say, "I will testify." My brethren, that that month was the month. My wife missed her period. Hallelujah! Woo. We, we have been waiting a year and seven months. But that very month, the story changed. Mm. Praise God. Hallelujah. Then, a friend, uh, just a brother of mine. This, my brother, is a stingy man, to be safe. When you even ask him something, he will not give you. Not to talk of where you did not ask. This brother told me that I should send my account number to him. I said, ah, I said, okay, I will send. Hmm. I went and opened account fast, fast, and sent my account number. Without asking, he dropped 30,000 into my account. Wow. <laughs> Immediately, I began, I began to come to my senses. I said, something is changing. I have a friend who is working somewhere. I told him a time ago that, please, if there is a chance in that place, let me know. On December, he called me. He asked me, do I still need that work? I said, I need it. It's OK that there is a chance. I said, eh, it's OK that I should come up. I went. I applied. On April 26 this year, I started work. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. In, in all this, I know it's not by my power. It is God's doing. That is why I said, let me come up this morning to thank him for his goodness. Praise God. Hallelujah. Brother, may your testimony remain permanent in Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you. Thank, Thank you, Lord Jesus. Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Church. Mercy of God. Mercy of God. The home of grace. Mercy of God. The last bus stop. Uh, my name is Joy Adekene. I want to testify the goodness of God in my life since I joined this great, commission, great church of God. Today is my daughter's by day. She's one BA plus today. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Another testimony. Last week, Wednesday, at about 4 a.m., I woke up and I discovered there was a, 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 a sound that looked like a bomb. But it was a gunshot. It was a bomb standing close to my house. So I was thinking it was Boko Haram. I was thinking they are bombing houses. So I was confused. I don't know what to do. I said, I woke my children up because my husband is not in town. He's on, he's on transfer. So I now remember this perfume changed my smell. The anointed perfume from the man of God, Apostle Parabo. And I begin to pray. I begin to spray it on my children's body. I begin to spray it at the windows. I begin to call God. I said, oh God of Prophet Jeremiah, come down and save us. Please don't allow us to be harmed this night. Please protect us. I begin to cry and weep and pray and pray. So it was the other neighbor. They now were able to enter inside the house and they made away with her belongings and thank God she was unharmed. So I thank God. I give God all the glory. I thank God because with God all things are possible. I thank God if you are in this commission and you believe God, everything will work out well for you. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. <laughs> Sister, may your testimony remain permanent in Amen. Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. God bless you. So, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. 
Mercy of God, the home of grace. Mercy of God, your last birthday. So, my name is Rosaline Gabriel. I'm from Olukbo, please, Santa Nigeria. My, my testimony goes like that. On August, 1st of August, I go pay house where I want to stay. As I, as I go pay the house finish, the other following days, I sleep. As I sleep, daybreak. I don't know. As I sleep, daybreak, I don't know where this thing is. This inside, this is my laps, this leg, right leg. The inside, something they bite me very seriously. The thing, go inside, grab and hop, go inside, grab and hop, and the inside, the mean bone, something they burn me like fire. The, the midnight, I know they feel sleep. Even day, I they walk, I know they feel sleep. Now, so always, I cry, I they cry. I say, God, who go help me? I don't know how that God, only you I know, God. Help me this situation. I don't know where I'm carrying this problem go. From there, I am crying every day. Even as they sit down, I am thinking, God, help me, send person to come help me. Tell one of my neighbor, come tell me. She said, come, come follow me. Go massage. I know one woman, and I follow the woman. I follow my neighbor, go meet the woman. The woman, I saw woman. She said, they come this house. And she sabi my side. And immediately she said, oh yeah, come. Make a massage. I she come, I said, open my body. And open this my leg, she saw this my leg. She asked me, what is happening this her leg? And then I come, tell her the problem. She said, this problem is not a massage. This is a spiritual problem. All this your leg, come, peel, finish. And all this side now, nah, just be like boy. Just some something like water, a poor person body, all this my leg just peel and this side just be like ball. So, the so madam, what is going to happen? I so, I said, open the leg, so the woman, this the woman say, make I come this source. And this leg, if, if I open this leg, this, all the leg just be peel and uh, wood, wood, all this leg, wood. So I say, so I call me the pastor. I say, Pastor, I beg, I need your help. Help me, oh, pray for me, now beg, help me. So I they cry, oh, this, the pastor away there for this was now he carry this water, one water away there this year. It's just, he carry this water, pray, 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 pray. pray. Nobody is one hour. This leg can dry finish. It dry. And from there, I can't stop my crying. I go to this house. He said, carry this water. If you want bath, take and put for your water. Take and bath. And take and spring it all the liquor. Just take and drink. You go finish. No fear. Now I say, God, man of God, thank you. God bless you. Immediately I go to this house till that day. That biting where they trouble me. You go fear. I sleep. He said, come. He said, come do testimony. I said, no problem, I will come. And that day, why I supposed to come do the testimony and not get transport? Then I said, today, I will come do the testimony for today. Now they come do the testimony. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. God, thank you, God, thank you, Jesus. May your testimony remain permanent in Jesus' name. Mercy of God. Mercy of God. 
Your last bus stop. My, my, my name is uh, Perez So from Bayelsa State. I want to just thank God for preventing me from the hands of the ritualists in, at Pataikot. My testimony goes like this. I, last week, I traveled to Pataikot after the service. I, I received a call that to come over to Pataikot. Recently, there, I met the person after that. At Agri Road 77, I, my, my woman called me that she didn't have anything at her hand. I wanted to send money to her. As I go into a bank, I saw a man standing in that Agri, the first street in Agri. And they, they called that place in the Awisa line. I was passing, the man called me that, please excuse me. Please, I need your help. I come from Bayasa and I want to sell something. I said, what is that? I mean, I don't know any person for here. I'm not living around there. I, I, I reside at, at, at Bloma. Okay, you said that, okay. Let me just accompany him to stay and let him sell what to sell. I said, what do you want to sell now? He said, that it's diamond. I said, diamond? I said, let me see it first. He sold me. He said, that he, he put it in, in black paper and wrapped with diamond. I said, okay, now that is no problem. I will help you because we, we, are, we are brother. We are speaking the same language. I stood with my dad, I was discussing. I, I saw one boy again come over to us. He said, that, okay, what people are discussing? I said, that it's like this, like that, okay. He said, that, you know the person that are, are buying that thing? They used to advertise it in AIT and other social media. Okay, no problem. He said, that they are selling it. You used to sell this thing, it's very costly amount. He said, it's 15 million naira. As I hear the money, my brother, if you meet you, okay, I will, I will, I will accompany you. <laughs> Four and nine. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. After that, he said that we are going to fear, share this money 50 50. I said, no problem. Five, five million naira. I said, no problem. I said, now today, now my day don't break. All this thing I hear. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. After that, the man, the boy who I called the man, he came. He said, Are you people come together? My man is told, telling me that I should not say that we come together. I want to help him. The, the man, the person that I want to say the thing, I'll say we should speak one one voice. I said, okay. I said, I come with him together. He said, Are you people's brothers? I he said, yes. He started talking, said that people around you, this and that. Okay, I said, he said that let us go to somewhere because this thing you carry is very, very dangerous something. Men shall come and attack you and collect this thing. Let us pass corner. We need to pass corner. I cannot know what I'm doing again. I don't know myself. I say, God, is it, is it a reality or is it a dream? They said they, uh, they started doing a cantation. I said, Jesus. I said, God, a pastor, Paul, a pal, but just take me out from here. I, I don't know myself. I don't pray in my mind. I, after the prayer, he said that people are started, when the people are passing, they're just looking at us. You are, the, the man is just doing a cantation. I said, he said that we should go to another place again. Okay, I said, no problem. I, I went to be there because of the money, if the amount of money the man called for me. I, I went, with, I went with the man and he said that, okay, they, they want to test it. Immediately the man was doing counter sound, what is he was in the hand disappear. I said, wow, okay. He said that if this money, if, if, this, if they uh, uh, receive it, if any currency that they, is come to his hand, he said that it's that currency that we used to pay. If it's dollar, if it's euro, I said, now wow, this thing, but then uh, now visualities, that, that might not come to me. After that, he said that, immediately he opened the arm, I saw two new, new tiny error on his arm, and he said that they accepted it. I said, eh, how are we going to get the money? He said that, let us go and somewhere, I will go and give you the money. From there, something entered my mind, I said, no, this thing, yeah, this, those, these people want to take me to somewhere for ritualists. Okay, after that, he said that I was dragging, dragging, I said, I'm not going anywhere. I was dragging, before I'm dragging, he said, I want to go and call his papa. Come and do the other things. I say, go and call him. Come. And I, when I immediately the, the Baba come, he said that okay, what is happening? Ask me. I say I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I know how to part of this. I not understand what people are doing. I'm not part of this. And after that, he said that okay, the person, the man, the Baba that, the Baba that he came, the one of the small boy, follow him. He, he stand distant, far from us when we are discussing. He's, the boy don't look at. 
into my eyes. He said that as you just use our eyes and do me, I said, say, leave, leave. I said, okay, this people, oh, oh. I, I just I get that thing that these people want to do me, use me for resources. I just cope down and give him boy, the boy encouraged me, so I should leave. I just pray, I said, God, if you deliver me from this, this resources, I'll come and testify your glory. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. The Lord. Hallelujah. After that, I just had that mind and just before I know I come know myself that what, where I'm in is the wrong place. I say I wanted to pay money to my wife. I'm I'm, I'm still I'm here. What am what am I doing here? I say as I know myself, as the boy signaled me, I just left. That's what God have done to me. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. May God grant us the grace to be conscious in whatever thing that we are doing. And brother, may you not see evil in Jesus' name. And even if you do, may you may when God Almighty, the God of Apostle Palabra, which you call upon earlier, grant you the grace to be conscious in Jesus' name. God bless you. Mercy of God. The home of grace. Mercy of God, church. Your last bus stop. Uh, my name is uh, Job, Mr. Job, Korwario Ezekiel. And the one standing beside me is my lovely wedded wife. <laughs> we are from Nimbe, and we reside here in, at Hajikoro. Uh, the testimony is all about the fruit of the womb. What happened is this. Last year, the enemy came on board to steal, to kill, and to destroy. But based on and the fact that our papa, Pastor Apostle Epalbo Betwell, is his God is a great God. Yes. Amen. Amen. So one day I was passing here, I'm a fan to Mercy TV. Uh, we, we are watching, we used to watch Mercy TV and I used to go there. But one day we are watching this TV and I saw this man, uh, Papa. Uh, I said, ah, I know this man. Who, is it not this man? that uh, we saw at this, that Mercy TV when I was passing here. I went home and I told my wife, I have seen this man. So let, it's like we will visit this man someday. Oh, are, are we going to worship there? We discussed and uh, we agreed and uh, uh, consigned the fruit of the womb. How it happened is, last year we, we are running Heta Sketa looking for a solution because Whenever she took in, uh, at the end, miscarriage. Anytime she took in, uh, uh, what is happening? We're going to run here and there, going to hospital, visiting herbal homes, many things involved. We suffered a lot. To cut it short, uh, as, we, I, as I find out this place, I said, let's go and visit him. And I send her on Thursday, the counseling day. Is it Thursday? Wednesday, 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 the counseling day, to come and see the Papa, and uh, he gave us assignment to go home. He, she told me that we should undergo fasting and come back on Sunday. Early this, that is early this year, we came back. Uh, we came back on that Sunday, and uh, he prayed for her, and and he, he passed a degree, and he said. Go and carry your baby. That is how it happened. And she, and we went home. And uh, after some days, I was at Nimbe, and she called me that uh, she don't know how her body is doing now. I said that is a sign of preg pregnancy. The God of our Papa is working. Yes, That's God. why we, we said we should come and testify to the glory of the Lord God Almighty. 
In Jesus' name. Amen. May your testimony remain permanent. In Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you.